Good morning, everyone. And again, welcome to Moput and to Mozambique. It's a pleasure to have you all here and an honor to receive you here at home. So I'll be presenting Color in Mozambique. Uh, as most of you might know, Color has been endemic in Mozambique since uh, 1973. And from that period up to now, we have seen uh, 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 outbreaks in Mozambique. Uh, uh, until 2021, uh, these were the numbers. We had a total of 36,000 cases uh, uh, from 2016 to 2021. Uh, and uh, we have developed a work of identify hotspot and high risk areas uh, 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 to better manage uh, cholera here in Mozambique. But this year, oops, sorry, but this year uh, we have seen an increase of cases in Mozambique and we are now until uh, yesterday with 2,908 uh, cases cumulative since September last year up to this year. Uh, and a cumulative deaths of 131 with a case fatality rate of 0.4. Uh, uh, and totally were hospitalized uh, more than 18,000 uh, uh, people. So to, to see the, how big and how impactful was the outbreak this year. Sorry, so, so this is the epic curve uh, and you can see, uh, this one, one, two, is the pointer. Uh, Sorry, there's no point. Yeah, so you can see the epidemiological week 11 start the uh, uh, cases started to increase. And this is when the Cyclone Friday heated uh, Zambezia in the central part of Mozambique. And this most of this case, more than half of the, the cases from week 11 to week 13 are from Kilimani, Zambezia. So, uh, uh, and now this is the situation where you see uh, cases decreasing as the minister was saying here. Uh, uh, and here, this graphs, I don't know if you can see the colors, the, the dark blue is Zambezia, showing the impact that Zambezia had on our current uh, epidemic situation. Uh, and these are just cases per, uh, uh, under 1,000 inhabitants, showing that uh, although situation is controlled, uh, we still seeing important cases in Sofala, uh, especially in Donda and Yamatanda. Uh, uh, we are trying to implement, we are, we are implementing uh, uh, some community measures to reduce the cases. So right now we have uh, teams in Yamatanda and Dondo to control the situation. And here is the dynamic of case fatality rates. As you can see, uh, we had um, at the beginning high rates of, uh, uh, of deaths in the community. Uh, and we don't have a very sensitive community uh, uh, surveillance system, but we have in place uh, our, uh, what we call Sishkov, which is our mortality surveillance, which is also our community uh, surveillance system that we want to expand to, to, to different diseases. And with that systems, we can pick uh, 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 some uh, 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 deaths in the community and start investigation and start to uh, the control measures. Uh, this is total numbers of deaths. It's similar to, 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 to numbers that I've shown. Sorry, uh, I'm showing here by provinces the numbers of deaths and cases. So then you will have this presentation. So we'll uh, uh, move. So Niasa was the first province that started reporting cases last year in in September, and this is the dynamic of uh, of Niasa, uh, Lago, and Lishinga. Uh, uh, were the, 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 the districts that uh, were concerning us uh, for control. 
Now we have Mavago and Niasa. It's uh, it's counting now 20 days. Uh, Lishing and Love. It's now it's more than 20 days without any case reported, and we believe that the situation will remain like that. And now we just have Mavago uh, 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 also uh, uh, controlling activities in Niasa uh, taking place. It's the only district now in Niasa with ac active cases. So this is Tete province, uh, similar situation. We had uh, cases from last year, and then we had, uh, as I said, uh, our mortality surveillance. So our community uh, system uh, was uh, fundamental to pick the cases in Tete. So all those cases were, uh, the investigation of those cases were, were done because of that system. But now situation is also under control, and we have uh, uh, reinforced surveillance in the border with Malawi uh, 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 to, to monitor the cases there. Uh, we still have uh, Mutarara is the new district. Uh, they had cases, then it was gone, and now we have some cases again in Mutarara, and we're still concerned because the risk factors are still present there. And this is Zambezia. Uh, as you can see, uh, the situation was severe here, but now it's extremely under control. We had in Zambezia five districts, and the five of them are, are, are under control. They are highly impacted by Kilimani City because there's uh, a lot of movement between those districts. And this is the Sofala situation. As you can see here, we still have Nyamatanda concerning us, the dark brown uh, on week 17, uh, 16, 15, and so on, are Nyamatanda. We are also seeing improvements in Tete, in Kaya. Uh, uh, we also started uh, to, to, to count the days to declare end of outbreak. Uh, our, our situation are controlled, Maromeo also. Uh, we had a situation in Chibabava, but it's also counting the days to declare the end of the outbreak. Uh, this is Manika, uh, districts that use to be without color for more than 30 years. So this year was uh, first time after 30 years without color and uh, the situation is also under control. And this is Gaza, uh, one of the first uh, provinces uh, reporting color, small numbers, but also reporting. And here it's important to mention that uh, 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 community activities in Gaza was, was, were very successful and we were able to control. And this was also a district that was uh, uh, vaccinated, Shai Shai. This is Nyaman, uh, one of the last districts uh, uh, reporting cases. Uh, 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 Nyamban had a village of fishermen affected. Uh, so we have started counting the days to, to declare end of outbreak, but then this compound of fishermen uh, uh, reported uh, eight deaths among them. So, uh, and some of them went to hospital very sick and uh, uh, ended up also dying. So uh, when investigation happened, there were more than 20 cases there, and there were more than uh, 30 men living there, and that area was a very critical area. Still uh, uh, seeing cases from that uh, part, uh, situation still uh, remains uh, critical, but uh, it seems that will be under control, but we are still monitoring. Our, and this is uh, how we manage in terms of CTC. So we we had we opened CTCs and CTUs. Uh, at the beginning, we had some problems with bads on CTCs uh, because we had many outbreaks in many provinces and resources were very bad. But right now, we the situation is also stable. We we managed to have the necessary conditions in all CTDs and CTCs that we have. So this is a, a bad occupation. Uh, and this is the distribution of cases. And you can see the, the measure of cases are on, under uh, active 
people, uh, uh, people between 20 and above. So uh, cholera, diarrhea in uh, adults. And you also see the adults are dying more than the kids here. Although the number of kids dying uh, of cholera are also very concerning. And this particularly in areas like Zambezia was mortality in, in child was very high, uh, maybe due to other condition, but also because of color, they were uh, 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 getting hospitalized a lot. Uh, and this is the characteristic, sorry, this is um, uh, in Portuguese. Uh, 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 I will translate the slides for you and it will be in English and you will see this is, these are the characteristics of our our patients and this we did this analysis because we are uh, 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 admitting patients that were not necessarily cholera and were getting cholera within the CTC so we had to be tied on this surveillance on type of patients that we are admitting and then creating community strategies to for those mild ca cases to be attended and then so that we would avoid people to get contaminated in the CTCs and uh, especially in Zambezia, CTCs at the beginning were on the accommodation centers. Conditions were very poor. There was no water and the hygiene was difficult to maintain. So we started doing this analysis to see who are uh, uh, our patients, who are the patients we are uh, treating. And then because uh, resources uh, were very few, we had also to see who are getting uh, 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 treatment with each treatment, uh, uh, IV fluids, antibiotics, I, uh, IV plus antibiotics, to see if we are not just, we are not misusing the, 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 the resources that, that we have. So uh, we had to make this analysis also to, to manage our, our um, consumables. Uh, because with the uh, cyclone, we had a uh, break of the road, so we could, we could not communicate with the center or north part, so we had a very few resources to send. Our car was stopped for two weeks in Gorongos and, could, and couldn't get uh, medicines for, to Zambezi, so we had to, to go back and analyze what we are giving and if we were doing right, so this is the analysis we did. So. Thank you. This is Corey Mozambique.